It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Caps and the Snowhawks on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us north of the border in the historic French-Canadian city of Montreal, Quebec. But tonight, we've got a preseason matchup between the Columbus Caps taking on the Snowhawks of Montreal. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watch some of those shows that the NFL does, and you see the coaches in preseason after a loss jumping all over their guys. So I learned one valuable lesson. Wins and losses count no matter what time of year it is. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by a former first-rounder in his fourth year now out of Utah State, Jordan Love. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in... Love, they go play action now. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And he'll be knocked to the turf right there as he gets it up to the 43. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. to throw now. Here's Love. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, they've got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. And leading them out in the third year of a young career out of Alabama, it's Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and five. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now Jones. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now, a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that'll make it 3 0 here in the first. So the opening drive stalls out, but the field goal does get him the first points of the night. And three points, not to be underestimated. How about this, right? You're on the road. You're under the lights. National television audience. This is not a dress rehearsal, partner. This is for real. And a pretty nice opening statement. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They fumbled the last time they had the football. Fortunate that it only led to a field goal. 3-0 the score as they start first and 10. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. 
Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Throwing Jones into the hands of Smith-Schuster on the crossing pattern. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Here's Stevenson. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Again, Stevenson. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Caps are able to widen their advantage. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here's another shot now for the Montreal offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Holding offense. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Now they'll toss to Jones running left. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Now we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. On oh, the return is Jones. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones, and that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. to throw again Jones that one on the money to Bourne downfield and he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line just shy of the 20 a big pickup of 38 despite writing it down on my notes I never give enough credit to the offensive line and we have to here the protection that's what made this play a success quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop and that takes a little bit of extra time Excellent job by the big fellows up front. Here's Jones throwing on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. 
Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And able to get this down inside the 15, to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. And yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. Jones now on first down. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. Stevenson. Touchdown! So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Ryland on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that drive in total, eight plays. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now the Montreal offense ready to take over now. They find themselves in a good size hole here, and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Love from the gun. Now throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. They'll run straight ahead with Wilson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Love now. Completed out left to Dobbs. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They'll run with a big back, A.J. Dillon. And he stopped immediately there. Jonathan Jones there to make the stop. Here's second and ten. Love looking to throw it. Finding room at midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Throwing. Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Play fake. Here's Love. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On play action. Love to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. 
and all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That gain on third down, good for 28. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. On first and 10, Love. A quick throw, but incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. Play action this time with Love. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Breaks up how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. And his kick is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. On oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. Jones on first and 10. Short pass caught by Henry. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Columbus with the football here to begin the second quarter. Now a second and six as they've got it as we resume action. From the 38, Jones. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is taken around the 12. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. Here's another shot now for the Montreal offense. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. On second down, Dillon. 
And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Love. And he is caught, and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Jordan Love ready on first down here. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Love with a give to Dillon. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Off the play fake, Love. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. And here's Daniel Whelan on now to punt. Calls for the fair catch. Makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt. No return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. Fights him off. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 48 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Throwing on first down, Jones. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. From the gun, it's Stevenson. And he powers his way up past the 30. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. The Montreal offense ready to take over now. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. First down, love to pass. And his throw is incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball. But I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can. And that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll run with Wilson out of the shotgun. 
And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. A short throw to Musgrave. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Second down, this is Wilson. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Another carry for Wilson. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Here's Love. Caught. It's Wilson. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Dillon. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. A give. This is Wilson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And, and it's caught. Touchdown. Christian Watson from 10 yards out. And the Snowhawks have got it back to a little score. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that slices the lead down to 17-10. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Marcus Jones, a return man. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now Jones. Short pass caught by Henry. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. The offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This is third and 11. Throwing Jones. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Here's Bryce Barringer now. Yeah. 
He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Love, they go play action now. That's complete to Dobbs. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. That's a nice throw there. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. First down, going to the air with Love. Completes it again to Dobbs. Six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coach were both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Love now to pass on first down. Got Dobbs over the middle. And they'll get this down to the 10. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Love from the gun. His throw incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To throw now. Here's Love. Touchdown! Jaden Reed from four yards out. And the Snowhawks are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Got a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am, go ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. 17-17 the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. On first down, Jones. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Five yards, now it's third and five. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Jones off the play fake. And that one to the right side and incomplete. And the other day they 
Barry told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. So nothing separating these two teams as we head to the break all square. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought Coach. this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. In our game, at the very least, you can't say it's not competitive. All tied up at halftime. Here's Rager. And for the call He's going to bring the this one half, out. We get you back out to and Brandon no Gunn. alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Now after the false start, here's second and seven. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Zappi in trouble, and he's going down. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. They bring their punter out there now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. On the ground, the drive starts with Wilson. Powerful running. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down. Strong. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. But you do need to know as a young quarterback that if you're going to spread the field, the ball's got to come out quick, and you have to know where to go with the football, really, in pre-snap. Identify where you want to go and get rid of it. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Zappi. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Zappi back to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. 
How about that? They weathered the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there a big pickup on third down. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Looking to throw, Zappi. A throw on the money to Rager. Touchdown! Jalen Rager, 54 yards. And his guys have taken the lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now Ryland for the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Just a four-play drive that time. And the drive was polished off on the touchdown catch by Jalen Rager. And this taken in at the goal line. How did he stay on his feet? And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Now the Montreal offense ready to take over now. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during the series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Got his man, it's Bo Martin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 23 yards to pick up there. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Now a play fake here on first down. That's complete to his running back, Wilson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. Wilson going to try the right side. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, strong. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And this punt sails over the sideline, and the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And Zappi to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. This duo locked in 14 yards there. 
And a first down. Here's Zappi. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Zappi in trouble, and he's going down. Lucas Van Ness buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. Thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now Zappi. He sets to fire deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So they bring out their punter as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Now the Montreal offense ready to take over now. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Looking to throw on second down. Strong. He gets that one complete to Wicks. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and pick it up on the ground with Wilson, and he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On first, they'll go back to Wilson. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. He takes this for three to the 29. You know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. Now Zappi. He finds Douglas complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. From the 33, here's second and six. Zappi looks to throw it. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. Well, they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. And they'll come up second and seven. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. We have played three quarters. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. 
back now here on EA Sports as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. Zappi to throw on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Douglas. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and five. Zappi working from the gun. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Off the fake, Zappi. Oh, no, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Fortunately for him, that ball stayed close so that he could recover it on his own. And you know the prayers that were going through his head as the ball escaped from him? <laughs> How happy was he at the end of it when he found the football again, able to retain possession? This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Douglas, the man in motion. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. On second down, Zappi to throw it. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the four. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Wilson with a first down carry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Off play action. Strong. That's to the sideline and incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away to throw on third down. Strong. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And this is caught. And did he get in? No. They'll mark him out at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Wilson, touchdown. Well, we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Carlson on for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive, four plays. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And he returns this to the 22. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, able to avoid him. And they have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And, Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Strong. Quick hitter here. It's complete. So five yards here. Five on the play. And it'll be second down. Oh, the motion comes too late. And this is going to be a delay. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. Looking to throw. Strong. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So I'm now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. They'll try and run with Wilson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Operating from the gun. Strong toward the point line. Caught. Touchdown! From six yards away. And the Snowhawks have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Did you see them hold up four fingers just at the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Now Carlson for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Well, we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Now a first down carry for Harris. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. 
The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Zappi on third down. Now a short one to Gesicki. But he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he shorted the line to gain. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. On first and ten. Strong. That's complete to Wicks. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now they'll hand it off to Wilson. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Here comes third in the length of the football. Off the play fake. Strong. A bullet throw, but incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. And on now is the punter. As he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And this returnable for Rager. Well, nice job on the return there, 16 yards. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. They'll try the right side with Harris. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On oh, a huge mistake late. It's intercepted. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners they end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start the drive with Wilson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, 
and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. On third down, strong. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down by seven, a minute 46 to go. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A lot on the line here, even for just a preseason game. Jobs to be won and lost. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Gotta avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but bottom line, they got the job done. Yeah, it is the bottom line, isn't it? A few anxious moments along the way, though. A few sweaty palms, not just for the team, but for their fans. As you mentioned, down going into the fourth quarter. How about the rally? How about the comeback? Getting it done on both sides of the ball. Holding them when they needed to and finding ways to get points when they had the football. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long, everybody.